Deo Matisse 1998 2015 years of release. Good day, if you are wondering is it worth buying a Deo Matisse and what problems you may encounter during operation, then you are at the right place. So the main weak point of Deo Matisse is the body. For the manufacture of body elements far from the best steel was used, so that it's actively corroded is not surprising. In those cities where roads are actively sprinkled with salt and reagents, the first fossae of rust were found on the body after 3-4 years of operation. In the southern regions where chemistry is used less often or not at all, the Deomatis body can last about 7-8 years before the first foci of corrosion appear. Considering that the last released Matisse rolled off the assembly line in 2015, there are practically no copies, the body of which has no flaws in the secondary market. The first onslaught of corrosion doesn't withstand the openings of the rear doors. Seals and wheel arches last a little longer. The list of weak points can include the leading edge of the bonnet and the trunk lid. Considering that all used Matisse have, will have problems with corrosion, when buying a crane it's important to choose the one where they were solved correctly. Despite the fact that body elements for Matisse are inexpensive, some owners are not willing to pay even these pennies. As a result, a full-fledged repair is replaced by sealing through corrosion with polyurethane foam and pasting the damaged areas with the cheapest vinyl film. Dealers are especially guilty of this. As a result, an outwardly used Deomatis may look more or less dignified, but at the same time have practically rotted power body elements, and this will only contribute to further spending. For example, due to severe corrosion of the area under the windshield, the load on the letter increases. As a result, at some point the glass breaks for no apparent reason. Replacing the windshield with a new one doesn't solve the problem. The load on the glass doesn't decrease, so that after a while the unpleasant situation will repeat itself. There is no need to worry except for the elements of the exhaust system, which also suffer greatly from reagents. They need to be included in the list of consumables and changed as needed. There is no need to talk about any high quality of the interior plastic and fabric of the seat upholstery, but this is fully compensated for by their excellent wear resistance, thanks to which even 10 year old look decent inside. The assembly was not without flaws, but even at the start of production Matisse was assembled better than the was cars. Buyers of used Matisse don't have to worry about this. The previous owners have probably figured out the bulging door seals and burrs on the interior plastic panels for a long time. Rather, an unpleasant surprise should be expected from an unsuccessfully laid air conditioned drain pipe. It easily breaks out of the mountings, after which moisture begins to accumulate under the passenger seat. The situation can be corrected in just a couple of minutes. It's enough to return the jumped off tube to its place. Installing a heated rear window is a good thing and it is extremely necessary in Russian operating conditions, but the creators of Matisse for some reason forgot about the automatic shutdown function, which is why the contact wires of the forgetful owners burned out in one winter season. Deo Matisse didn't bypass the problem of the poor quality of the components used. Standard generators, which at different times were supplied to the conveyor by Mando and Delphi, often couldn't withstand even 50,000 km. Moreover, by the time they traveled 20-30,000 km, their efficiency was noticeably reduced. It makes little sense to change the generator to a new one. A competent electrician is quite capable of bringing an old generator back to life, which will be cheaper than buying a new one. Future owners of Deo Matisse should also remember that a tiny battery is installed in their car. When starting the car in cold weather, it's imperative to turn off all additional consumers of electricity, otherwise the load on the electrical circuit can be very high. It will not hurt to stock up on fuses in advance. On Deo Matisse they burn out regularly. Fortunately, the replacement is very inexpensive. At the time of the debut of Matisse, its customers didn't have to choose a power unit. The car was equipped with a 52 horsepower 3-cylinder engine with a volume of only 0.8 liters. The engine was paired with a 4-speed manual transmission, a tandem of low-power motor and an archaic gearbox couldn't provide decent dynamics. Under ideal conditions, the first 100 km per hour Matisse gained in 17 seconds. In 2003, the Korean hatchback received a 1.0-liter gasoline engine that developed 64 horsepower. On paper, the increase was not very significant, but in fact, the tiny Matisse has become noticeably more dynamic. Acceleration to 100 km per hour was reduced by 4 seconds. Another plus of the new engine is quieter and smoother operation, as well as the ability to work with an automatic transmission. However, the chirping sound of a 3-cylinder engine, reminiscent of motor scooters, only at first aroused concern 
among the owners. As a rule, people quickly get used to the feature of a 0.8 liter engine. The junior three-cylinder engine was developed by the engineers together with Suzuki specialists. Considering the small volume and low power, the resource of 150,000 km before overhaul can be considered very good. A four-cylinder 1.0 liter engine on average lasts 50-70,000 km longer before overhaul. Cases when a 1 liter engine could withstand about 300,000 km without major repairs are known, but this is rather an exception. Moreover, not all owners of used Deomatis change engine oil every 10,000 km and don't save on its quality. In each of the power units, it's necessary to adjust the thermal clearances in the valve drive. On average, this operation will have to be done every 30-50 thousand kilometers. The time and belt replacement interval is every 40-50 thousand kilometers. It's not recommended to postpone the replacement until later, because when the belt breaks, the pistons meet the valves. The service life of the water pump is about 80 thousand kilometers. Despite the fact that structurally Matisse motors are very simple, they are not omnivorous. It's better not to experiment with fuels of uncertain quality, otherwise you will have to fork out not only for more frequent replacement of spark plugs, but also for periodic cleaning of the injectors. With high mileage, you should pay attention to the condition of the oil seals. They gradually lose their elasticity, after which they begin to leak. This is fully true for the cylinder head gasket. The weak points of Deomatis include the starter. The thermostat and idle speed regulator also do not differ in available survivability. An unpleasant surprise is to be expected from the fuel tank vent valve. It sometimes sticks, after which the engine goes into emergency operation. With high mileage you should pay attention to the fuel lever sensor. Most used Matisse are equipped with a 5-speed manual transmission. As the mileage increases, the clarity of switching mechanics deteriorates noticeably. Often unpleasant symptoms appear even with a run of 40-50 thousand kilometers. The ropes are to blame for this, which corny corny over the years because of which they first begin to wedge a little and then completely break. Synchronizers and bearings in a mechanical box fail much less frequently. The service life of the clutch in a mechanical box is 70-80 thousand kilometers. As for the oil change interval in the manual transmission, it's officially equal to 40,000 km. Another thing is that the owners of used inexpensive copies do not even think about this procedure. As a result, the secondary market is full of copies, the mechanics of which have not seen fresh oil for 70-80 thousand km. If desired in the secondary market, you can also find a version with an automatic transmission. Automatic from the Jatco company will not amaze with the speed of changing gears, but in urban conditions its 4 gears is quite enough. Subject to regular oil changes of 200,000 km, the automatic transmission will serve without difficulty, further or repair which will cost 60-80,000 rubles, or the purchase of a contract box. In the second case you will have to pay about 30-40,000 rubles, but the residual resource of the used unit will be unpredictable. Of the minor troubles associated with an automatic transmission, problems with wiring and connectors can be noted. The copies of Deo Matisse assembled in Korea are practically not found on the Russian market. They are notable for the fact that they used a variator instead of an automatic transmission. Its design is extremely simple, thanks to which the CVT variator was even installed on some Japanese motorcycles at one time. Another thing is that technical simplicity is not a guarantee of a long service life. Before overhaul, a continuously variable transmission withstands the same 170 to 100,000 km as an automatic transmission. As a rule, worn gears of the gear ratio server drive are the first to be replaced. With high mileage you will have to replace the worn rubber metal chain. The front suspension of Deomatis uses the McPherson scheme. The rear suspension uses a trailing arm. Despite the fact that the Matisse weighs little, the ball joints in its suspension do not serve very much. On average they have to be changed every 40-50 thousand kilometers. The situation is aggravated by the fact that the ball joints have to be changed along with the levers, which makes the repairs more expensive than expected. Another weak point in the suspension is the wheel bearings. On those Matisse, the owners of which have installed alloy wheels, they can withstand from 40 to 50 thousand kilometers. On cars with stamped rims, wheel bearings can withstand up to 60 70 thousand kilometers. The original brake pads, which cannot even withstand 20,000 km, have been replaced with used Matisse long ago, so only the rear brake drums are the only ones to expect unpleasant surprises. At high mileage they begin to wedge. 
The drum cylinder is also considered the weak point of the brake system, which begins to leak by a run of 80-100,000 km. Steering Matisse doesn't cause problems. On average, a steering rack serves from 150 to 200,000 km. Contrary to the prevailing stereotypes, the Matisse doesn't cause serious problems. And even if the miniature hatchback is not without its weak points, they have been studied for a long time. Due to the simplicity of the design and the low cost of most consumables, troubleshooting is very inexpensive, so Devo Matisse can rightfully be considered an ideal car for those motorists whose budget is seriously limited. Now only one thing plays against Devo Matisse – time. There are fewer and fewer fresh cars in the secondary market, and the first Matisse cars due to the weak body do not look very attractive at the moment. If you're the owner, then be sure to leave a comment about this car. Your review will definitely help others with the choice of a car.